Good morning, everybody. It's Chris Palme here, a radio host of Live with CDP Sports Talk with WQEE 99.1 FM in Noonan, Georgia. And this morning, I'm at Alumni Stadium at the University of Guelph for Toronto Argonauts training camp. And I have a special guest with me, wide receiver Jordan Bird from the Toronto Argonauts. Uh, Jordan is out of New Mexico, and I'm just going to get his thoughts on the uh, preseason game against Montreal and uh, training camp here at the University of Guelph. Good morning, Jordan. How you doing? Good. How are you? Thanks Good. for having me. Can you tell my audience just a little bit about yourself? Okay. Uh, well, I'm from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, I played football at San Diego State. Uh, played there all five years. I was a running back at the time. Uh, then I ended up going to the league, playing for the Steelers through the preseason. Uh, they moved me to wide out um, and then ended up signing here and decided to be on the team, you know, decided to help them out for sure. How much of the adjustment as an American was it coming from New Mexico and, and American football to the Canadian Football League in the three downs? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it's just faster. You know, it's, at the end of the day, it's still football. Um, you know, there's a lot of critiques I need to work on. Um, you know, being a returner as well, there's a lot of stuff that um, I have to pick up. Uh, but I know I can I can do that, help the team out for sure. Um, it's not a big, big difference. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, it's, it's just football. <laughs> Thoughts on the uh, the Argos Alouettes game this past Saturday night at McGill Stadium and Jordan, what are you looking to improve upon uh, to be on this Argos team in 2024? Oh yeah, you know, being a returner, you know, that's one thing that um, I bring to the team is you know being a good returner and one thing I need to fix. Um, you know, there's a lot of things out there that are different than American football than it is here. So there's a lot of things that um, you know I can fix myself in practice. Uh, you know, talk to the coaches, w watching film and stuff like that. Um, you know, just having, having fun at the end of the day, too. Football is football, and I'm excited to, to play it again. Thoughts on the, the Toronto Argonauts organization and training camp here so far at the University of Guelph and the facilities here? Oh, it's awesome, man. You know, I, it's a privilege to come out here and, and be on the team with the Argos. Um, it's a nice, nice facility we're at in golf. Um, you know, excited to be in Canada playing with the Argos and, you know, excited to be around the guys and the coaches. You know, really good team, great team. Is there a story behind your number? <laughs> no, no, not, not my number. Yeah, it's just what I got for right now. <laughs> and what's been your favorite football moment so far in your career? Uh, being a returner, you know, that's not an easy job. You know, being going back there, uh, catching the ball while 11, well, now 12 dudes are running after you. Um, you know, just showing that you got talent out there. You know, the team trusts you with the ball in your hands. And that's one thing I love is just being back there, catching punts and trying to return them every time. Who were some of your early football influences and mentors in your career so far? Oh, yeah, I would say Tariq Hill. You know, we're almost about the same size. He's a little bit bigger than me. But, you know, seeing that guy run around the, run around the field, you know, that's a good inspiration for me. You know, he's about the same size as me. So it's exciting to watch somebody my size do that on, on that big of a, of a platform. What's uh, one word to describe yourself as a football player for the uh, Argo fan base? I'd say unique. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not the biggest guy, but... I'll, I'll bring the hammer, so. <laughs> What's a football fun fact about Jordan Bird? Uh, I used to be a quarterback in high school. So I was a quarterback. I threw for a 1,000, ran for a 1,000. Um, that's, that's one little football unique, or football uh, fact about me. I was a quarterback. <laughs> Did you have a favorite quarterback growing up? Uh, Cam Newton. Cam Newton was my favorite quarterback, even though he was, you know, 6'5", but he was, he was a great quarterback. He was awesome. Right now, if there was a quarterback out there, is there anybody that's similar to Cam Newton? Uh, right now? Yes. Um, you're talking about on the team or? In football generally. Right? Football general? Mm, I mean, I'd say Lamar Jackson. You know, he's fast with his feet. He can throw the ball still. That's, that's what I would say would be the, similar to Cam Newton. All right. And uh, finally, uh, where can my audience uh, follow you on social media if you're on there? Okay. Um, my Instagram is Jordan with two N's dot bird. Um, I'm not really on Facebook or Twitter that much, but that's really my platform is just Instagram. And finally, what are you looking forward to uh, to this Friday night's game against Ottawa here at the uh, Alumni Stadium? Uh, just learning from that last week, you know, doing better, improving on, on um, offense and on punt return, kick return. Um, just improving, you know, getting in the film, working on a lot of things that I, that I missed in the last game. Uh, just improving, helping the team out for sure. All right, Jordan, I want to say thank you so much for doing this and uh, continued success with uh, the Toronto Argonauts. And we'll see you Friday night here at Alumni Stadium. Yes, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you.